The hosts got proceedings underway and made the perfect start as Dane Clay capitalized on a mistake in the visitor's defense to tap in at the back post and hand the clever boys the lead in the third minute. And Yimba were not going to take the home side's fiery start laying down and found an equalizer within 120 seconds, Ibrahim Mustafa slotting his effort coolly past Manub Josephs to level matters. The half continued to deliver attacking football, both sides making their intentions clear as they threw numbers forward, decisive passing and good pace a highlight of the half. Coach Gavin Huntsman looked to regain an advantage, exploiting the wide areas but were unable to get the better of Abdel Dauda and goal for Anyimba. The second half saw the introduction of Vincent Pule and Elias Palembe as the Brambantine outfit pressed for an important home win. The hosts continued where they left off in the first, creating chances and asking questions of the Anyimba defense, with 10 minutes of the first half gone Dauda produced a brave save to deny Eliezer Rogers from inside the area, diving at the striker's feet to deflect the effort out for a corner. Pule looked menacing after his introduction, his pace and trickery leaving Anyimba players flat-footed, his influence resulting in continued pressure on the visitors. Nigerians looked to play on the break for most of the second half, creating precious little in way of goal attempts. Dauda was immense for large parts of the second stanza, and the reason bid Westwood struggled to net a second goal denying wits on several occasions. The quality of football on display deteriorated as Anyimba players began to feel the pace, several players cramping up around the park and having to be stretchered off. Ultimately Wits couldn't break down the resilient Nigerians who held on to the result. The draw sees the Nigerians carry an all-important away goal advantage into the second leg which will take place in Nigeria.